Hello there, this is Dave Allen for Mac 20 Questions and today what I'd like to do is show you a bit about Amadeus Pro. It's a really good tool for making podcasts and it has some good tricks up its sleeve like getting rid of noise in the sound file. So for instance I can show you we have some hiss in this, let me just play this for you. You may need to have your headphones on to hear it but it is there I assure you. Okay, so that's the sound with the hiss in there. And one of the things that we can do with this is to select an area that's got some noise in there that we want to get rid of. Go up to the menu there, go to Effects, Denoising and tell it to sample the noise. And then we can go to the Effects again after we've deselected and tell it to suppress noise. So you can see now in this area here the noise has been removed to a certain extent. Let's just play that and see how it sounds. And I can confirm that the hiss has gone. Hello there, this is Dave Allen for Mac 20 Questions podcast and uh, just uh, and it hasn't affected the sound of the voice in the recording either. So that's one way of doing it. And let's put the hiss back in there again. I've pressed command Z to do that. And another way to do this will be to go to the uh, effects menu and this time we go to denoising and go for suppress white noise. We get this little dialog up there and if we have it up over here and do preview the hiss is still there then what we do is move the slider down and the idea is to move the slider down just as much as you need to and I usually find that somewhere around about the minus 55 sort of mark the hiss is removed. That sounds like the hiss is removed to me there. And I'll click on bypass so you can hear it again. And you can see there again that the hiss, the where the hiss was, it has the waveform has got smaller. We know the hiss has been removed. And once again. Hello there, this is Dave Allen for Mac 20 Questions Podcast and uh... And once again the hiss has been removed in the space where the voice was being recorded and it hasn't affected the sound of the voice. Let's just go back and do this one more time with the same tool we was using before and uh, let me just show you something. If we go to effects, denoising and take to suppress white noise again and we'll click on preview. Hello there this is Dave Allen for Mac 20 Questions podcast and uh just uh, out on the coast, um, enjoying a bit of the uh, sun and surf and sea and all that sort of thing. And uh, I'm looking at uh, a ruin that's nearby, uh, an Iberic ruin, and a um, nice beach here as well. So, now that was an example of what happens if you take the slider too far. It does affect the sound of the voice, so you have to be careful with that. It's quite good that you can do it and have some fine control and get it just the way you like it. So there you go, that's one of the things you can do with Amadeus. You don't need to go and buy in other applications that are specifically for removing noise. You can do it all in Amadeus Pro. Make your podcast and also use it for editing the audio to get it just right with the sound. Don't forget to subscribe to the Mac20Q videos so that you know when the next ones are due to come out. Bye-bye now.